Um, so it's Book to Screen, The Vampire Chronicles and the Future of Novel Adaptation um, by Claire Fitzpatrick. <laughs> um, so um, I guess it can often be a blessing or a curse to see beloved books turn into a movie or a TV series. Um, the problem with book to film dichotomy is that two mediums are so fundamentally dissimilar that it can be hard to find an equilibrium. But the point of fidelity from books to TV is, sh- is that the show is a faithful homage to the preservation of the book's themes, passions, and the heart of the text itself. Um, so obviously times have change, and the string of successful vampire TV shows, um, showrunner Brian Stiller is tackling the books again. So he's finally giving the Vampire Chronicles and the Maze by Witches the detailed TV script series it deserves. I've been writing essays for a few years now. Um, obviously, I write fiction as well, but I found nonfiction essay writings a really great way to um, explore subjects, so subjects that I've been interested in. Um, so obviously, with my essays, I, also, I, I consider it like creative nonfiction. So I like using a narrative in my nonfiction, and I think that's what I really um, like. So I kind of tell a story within my nonfiction. Um, yeah, so I, I just like exploring things and topics and I find a lot of things interesting that can't be conveyed through fiction. So yeah, that's what I like about it. So this is sort of about, um, obviously, the Vampire Chronicles adaptation and also the future of novel adaptation. So where can we go uh, with adaptation? So I guess one of the things I wanted to write about was good and, I guess, not successful adaptations. So, for example, The Hitchhiker's Guide to a Galaxy didn't really work. Dune didn't really work. Um, A lot of things didn't really work, but especially also, um, what was it, The Hobbit films? But I think... There are several shows that did work. So there's the series of unfortunate events, The 100, American Gods, True Blood. And I think they were successful because they paid more attention to the source detail. And they were able to, um, I guess, focus on those complex stories and the source material and characters. And they really brought the characters to life. So that's sort of what I think is really good about adaptations. And it really drew me into writing about it because I really like these adaptations and I wanted to explore them and explore both the good and the bad. So, yeah. Okay. Um, I think I consider sort of existing literature, um, like nonfiction uh, essays about certain topics. And the process is sort of, I start thinking about what I can add to this literature, um, if anything is missing? And is there anything new that can be explored? So I start with an idea or a theme. I read essays about it already. I might read uh, essays in magazines or I might read them in like sort of academic journals. And then I start to figure out what's new, like what hasn't been written about and what I can bring to it and sort of like my experiences that I have with my writing and what I've learned through my degree and what hasn't been said before. So I like to find uh, also new angles of things that have been said and explore different, different angles and just, I guess, revitalize themes that perhaps haven't been written for a while. Yeah, um, it was about like three or four days. Like it didn't take a very long time. Um, I think because I've been a fan of Anne Rice and the Vampire Chronicles for so long. I, I started reading her books when I was about 19, 1920. And, and so my process, yeah, it just took a few days. I did the research. I read a few excerpts from books that I have. And then I started doing research on 
uh, other kind of films that have been successful. So generally when I write these types of articles, especially for Aurealis magazine, it only takes a few days. Um, obviously more in-depth academic articles take me a long time. Um, but yeah, it didn't take me very long. I think things that you're interested in. So perhaps a book series that you're interested in. And maybe look at what essays have already been written. And if you can expand on them. Uh, or movies, you know, films, TV series. Kind of find things that you really want to explore and really want to share with others. If you have something that you want to write about and um, people haven't written about it, um, how can you share that with others? So I think, yeah, focusing on what you like, books that you read, films that you watch, uh, TV series. Just find things that you really like and think that you've got something different to, to share about it. So something that you want to share with others. I think obviously some people don't like doing this. Um, they prefer to just kind of write a general kind of article. But I think you should write down kind of subheadings, like little topics. And look at literature and look at more academic essays because it makes it clear and concise. So I think a lot of it is just reading. <laughs> no, that's how people write in general. They, I think, read what already exists and plan your essays, plan uh, like dot points which you want to write about, read existing literature, um, and then go for it, I suppose. And obviously, if you want someone else to read it and give you tips, um, that's really helpful as well. Like they can give you ideas of perhaps something that you've missed or something they can add to it. So yes, just read literature and get help from other people. Yeah, yeah. So um, I've got two. There's the Australasian Horror Writers Association. I, I've been a member of, uh, I think, around 2015, 2016. They're really good for people who perhaps want to get started in horror writing or just dark fiction in general. Um, it's really good because it's like a community for writers. Also, uh, the Horror Writers Association, which is based in America, um, they also give like scholarships, which is something that I um, have won. And they're really good for uh, helping your career with horror or just dark fiction writing. Um, and even just any join any kind of writing organisation that's in your area. It's really helpful to meet people, meet like-minded people, and it, it helps you better your writing. 